Welcome to Simply Science from Nature Education. I'm Adam Weiss and I'm here with Dr. Lorna Gibson from MIT's Department of Material Science and Engineering. And we're going to talk about how plants like these grasses and cattails behind us can be so tall and so strong even though they look so flimsy. So Lorna, welcome. Thank you. So what are we in front of? So this is a uh, bulrush that's uh, called a bulrush in England or a cattail in the United States. and. This is a marsh type of plant. They, they often grow in marshy areas. And in fact, we're kind of half, half inch <laughs> sinking into the mud here. Yeah. Um, and they often grow in, in big uh, fields like this. So you see many of them together. And one of the things we've looked at is the structure of these plants, both their leaves and their stems, and how they operate mechanically and, and what, what, about, what it is about their structure that gives them uh, the ability to stand up straight when they're so light and, and thin. And if I grab onto this, it's actually quite a bit thicker than it looks. Mm -hmm. And it feels kind of like packing tape yeah. to me. Yeah, so in fact, it's it's got this rough kind of exterior to it. And that is caused by uh, fibrous tissue that runs up and down the length of the outer part of the leaf. Uh, so you can think of the leaf structure as, as like a sandwich structure. So there's two dense, sort of almost solid layers on the outer faces. And there's a core that's uh, more of a foam-like material. So the structure is very much like something like a downhill ski. They often make downhill skis like this now. And those, those sort of fibers that you can feel, they would be like the fibers in a fiber composite in an engineering material. If, if I squeeze this, is it going to hurt the plant? Um, not if you just don't do it too hard. Okay, yeah, so it, it does feel spongy yeah. on the inside. Yeah. And yeah, it seems kind of like you're describing something like the foam core boards that you can make posters out of. It is. In fact, it's very similar to those foam core boards, except instead of having, say, a, a card on the faces, it's got this fibrous sort of fiber composite type of a face, more like an engineering structural sandwich panel would have. And you keep talking about the engineering because you are I'm a material <laughs> scientist, even though we're talking about botany type stuff. So yeah. what do we learn from these kind of things in huh. terms of building stuff? Well, I think engineers uh, also make sandwich structures. I don't think they necessarily learn that from these plants, but they certainly do make all sorts of sandwich structures, uh, different kinds of aircraft components, downhill skis, lots of things like that. And I think there's other examples of um, structures or materials in nature that have some special feature that engineers do learn from that from them. So. Well, I don't know if I'll ever look at grass the same way again. <laughs> it's really quite amazing what these things can do with what little they have. Thank you very much. You're welcome.